Well, joining me now for more reaction to this is Larry Elder. He's a former 2024 Republican presidential candidate. Uh, Larry, I want to get to that about schools, but I got to get your reaction. You were a presidential candidate. Now that Maine is joining Colorado and put, uh, denying Donald Trump to be on the ballot, uh, hoping for the Supreme Court to weigh in here. What's your reaction to that? Well, the Supreme Court will weigh in, and in my opinion, this is this is a, a could be a stretch, Jason, but in my opinion, the Supreme Court is going to rule nine zip uh, that this so-called insurrection clause ought not prevent uh, Donald Trump from being on the ballot. It's ridiculous, absolutely absurd. He's never been charged with insurrection, let alone convicted of it. I thought they'd at least wait for him to be charged, but they didn't even do that. So this will be smacked down uh, pretty severely by the Supreme Court at some point. Yeah, I, I, I tend to think you're right there, Larry. All right, let's go back to the other topic, which is the schools. Because, look, I know you care about the schools, but there has been an indoctrination right. that has manifested itself into these kids, and, and it is one of division. It's not uniting the country. It's not about what Dr. Martin Luther King talked about. It, it's totally the opposite of that. You know, speaking of, of King, in 1966, Jason, he was on British television and he said, the changes in America have been so rapid and so positive in the last two years since the passage of the Civil Rights Act. In about 40 years' time, we could elect a black president. Almost on cue, Barack Obama got elected. I was in Boston, in the arena, when he gave his coming out speech, and he said, there's no blue America, there's no red America, there's no black America, there's no white America. There's just one America, United States of America, electrified everybody, unified speech. 2008, he's on 60 Minutes being interviewed. And he's asked, if you don't win, will it be because of race? And Obama said, no, it will be because I failed to articulate a vision that the American people can embrace. He walked through the Oval Office the third week of, of uh, January 2009, Jason. Polls show blacks and whites thought race relations would improve. What did he do for eight years? One race card after another after another, from the Cambridge police acted stupidly when they did not, to if I had a son, he'd look like, uh, if I had a son, he looked like Trayvon, when the man who shot and killed Trayvon was found not guilty, and the jurors said, Race had nothing to do with it. He embraced Black Lives Matter, a divisive movement founded by co by self-described trained Marx, as Marx was a guy that fathered the narrative that the world can be divided between the oppressed and the oppressors. He gave a speech and he said that racism is in America's D DNA. He had Al Sharpen over to the White House almost, excuse me, almost 80 times. Eric Holder, his AG, once said that America, when it comes to race, is a nation of cowards. And he talked about pernicious racism. And one example he gave of pernicious racism was voter ID. Race card after race card after race card. Near the end of Obama's term, two officers in New York were killed execution style by a black man, angry at this false anti-black police narrative. Uh, five people were killed, yeah. officers killed in, in Dallas by another black man, angry over the same thing. Three killed in, in Baton Rouge by another black man, angry over the same thing. So Obama made things worse. We had a golden opportunity right. to take the country into a different direction. You know, Larry, I, I, I got to go back to this breaking news coming out of out of Maine, because I look at the hysteria that surrounds the idea of Donald Trump and his ascending to the presidency. You know, at one point, Joe Biden actually said, you know, we got to make sure it doesn't even get on the ballot. He said something to that effect. Right. And now you have Maine joining Colorado, coming up with a conclusion, not about saving democracy, not about enhancing democracy and allowing the people to vote for who they want to vote for. But now the Maine secretary of state is not allowing Donald Trump on the ballot? I mean, where has this country come to? Well, and don't forget, Joe Biden is the one who referred to MAGA Republicans as semi-fascist. Hillary, for the entire time of Trump's term, referred to him as illegitimate, said 2016 was stolen. Nobody accused her of undermining the foundation of our republic. You had Jimmy Carter, who claimed that the Russians put Donald Trump there when Jay Johnson, Obama's DHS secretary, testified under oath that the Russians failed to change a single vote tally. So they've been saying it time and time and time again. Nobody accused them of inciting a riot, of, of being insurrectionists. But Donald Trump says, I want you to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. And he's an insurrectionist. It's outrageous. And it's going to set the country on fire if the Supreme Court does not overturn these elections, these, these decisions. Yeah. And part of the absurdity of what was happening in Colorado is the, the Supreme Court there rules that not even write-in ballots I mean, did they forget the right. fundamental thing that the government works for the people? It's not the other way around. <laughs> You're not even going to allow somebody to be written in 
to be considered a vote for somebody? And this is how that, I mean, I'm tired of all the preaching that's coming from all the Democrats across right. the country just saying, hey, you know what? We, Donald Trump will destroy democracy. Donald Trump never tried a trick like this. It's a dirty trick and it is wrong and it's going to divide this country. It is going to ignite people if they can't vote for who they want to vote for. And what they're doing in Maine, I'm telling you, the other states are going to try to do these kind of shenanigans again. And the people of this country are not going to stand for it. And the seven members of the Colorado Supreme Court were all appointed by Democrats, yet three of them disagreed with the decision by the majority. So when it gets to the U.S. Supreme Court, where six of the nine have been appointed by Republicans, I believe it's going to be overturned, as I said, nine nothing. Well, I hope so. I hope it gets to the court sooner rather than later, because they have got to be able to weigh right. in on this and put this to bed sooner rather than later. It's a distraction to the Absolutely. primaries that are just over two weeks away, and, it, and it's denying people their fundamental rights. What about the other candidates that are trying to get some time in the airwaves and be able to actually make their case to the American people? And what about the rights of somebody who has never been convicted of anything, never even charged of anything? <laughs> right. You're going to deny his ability to even be on the ballot based on what? There is nothing that can justify this. And for all those liberal pundits and all those people say, and, and including President Joe Biden, Joe Biden's the one that walked up to the microphone and say, well, it's so evident. Or he used some paraphrase of that, that of course he did. No, he wasn't. And if he was, why wasn't he charged with it? He was never charged with it, as you said, and he was never convicted right. of it. In fact, all those January 6 rioters, look, if you did something wrong, then go after them. But they were never charged with insurrection either. It's a very serious crime to be involved and engaged in that. But that is not what had happened. It's not what happened. It's called Trump derangement syndrome, Jason. Maybe someday there'll be a vaccine. <laughs> well, they can't get that vaccine fast enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, Larry Elder, thank you for weighing in on that tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.